Of course, Kirito fights with the sword. And we've seen that because he bought the sword last, last episode. But to see him actually in action, we can see the trajectory, the bullets coming, Kirito's reaction speed. He can just basically zoom, zoom, just like some Jedi shit, bro. And, and basically, he can deflect any um, bullet. He already won, and I'm sure he's going to make it to the finals where we're going to meet Shinon. But this is just like prelims, right? Because the actual Bob 3 is the, uh, what is it? It's a battle royale that anyone that makes it to the finals can also go in. So that is the actual highlight of the match the best part about last episode aside from telling shinon you know who you are and you know the catfish and stuff is death gun death gun shows up at the very end hype soundtrack plays and he says are you the real deal and i'm like what basically kirito you know the name the black swordsman has been etched throughout the history of vr mmo so they're kind of like reminiscent of this hero i guess but i don't think the laughing coffin members or death gun sees kirito as a hero it's just like oh shit you're that guy from you know sao maybe they like have a grudge against him for killing kuradil i doubt it and another thing is you know that kid the medical student kid that um was friend of shinon's and who is obsessed with shinon I thought that he was related to Death Gun, and he probably still is, but the fact that an actual Death Gun figure was in the same room as that kid further implies that, okay, I think Death Gun could be multiple people, or maybe it is just a single person. I would just like to think that Death Gun is like this entity, and anyone with this robot mask and, you know, the Laughing Coffin tattoo can be Death Gun. Death Gun honestly sounds like a rebrand from Laughing Coffin to Death Gun. Maybe it's a guild? I don't fucking know, but hey, let's figure out what's gonna happen in today's episode. <laughs> Keep out, Diablo. Here we go again. Heathcliff, Sugo. This is the exact same recap we just watched. Yeah. Ruby Palace. When are we going back to the Ruby Palace, man? <laughs> Black Cat Gang. <laughs> Larper Fisherman Army. Oh. Oh yeah, it's the tattoo. It's the tattoo. It's the mark. The soundtrack. So good. Kirito, the Black Swordsman. Take with the real one. How does Death Gun see Kirito? <laughs> okay, so Death Gun does not see Kirito as a hero. Someday I will kill you. And he does the most dramatic exhale out of his mask, bro. Why don't you just shoot him with the heart gun, the heart attack gun? I guess this is a safe space, right? SAO ni sonzai shita satsujin gildo. Rafin kofin da. Wonder how many people Laughing Coffin actually killed. I guess like the weight of killing someone is just like being reminded again. Back in SAO, are we gonna see everyone that died? Hey, this is uh, episode uh, 14 or 15, right? And then it's on the rooftop, the skeleton fucking thing. Oh, wait, wait, this is different. What? This is different. Wait, we're at Laughing Coffin HQ? This is cut content? Okay, okay, this is cut content. Okay. No Heathcliff, huh? Climb. Okay. He ain't got no time to be fighting out here. Yo, where's Zaza? Which one is Zaza? This one, one, someone here has to be Zaza, but we never see their fucking faces because they have the fucking hoods on. They're kind of overwhelming us. Zaza? Is that you? Oh, who is that guy? Okay, we can actually see his face and his nipple. Holy shit, his nipple is huge, bro. Look at the size of that thing. But is this Zaza? So like some kind of like long white hair. Oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> you just said that he would die. <laughs> Fuck your week. Straight up, you deserve that. That was 3v1. Is this Zaza? Is this Death Gun? <laughs> oh, we actually crossed swords. <laughs> We killed them already. Okay, it was not an important character. That is not Zaza. Damn, this shit's even more scary than fighting actual dungeon bosses. And only two of them were destroyed. <sighs> Too many hooded figures, man. I just need to know who these dudes are. When did we interact with them? Probably during that, you know, yoga pants episode. The voice? I want to assume it's at least one person. I want to assume that it's like multiple people because they are always like hidden their faces in their identity. Death Gun is just like a title held up by members of the Laughing Coffin, maybe? You got a sandwich for us? You know, back in SSAO, Asuna would give us sandwiches. She know butt crack. Yo, this, these shorts are way too fucking... These aren't even like actual shorts. What the fuck is this, Shino? Trauma Riz? PTSD Trauma Riz? It's fucking working. He keeps getting away with it, man. Oh? Oh, we're actually logging off. Log off Riz. It's that kid again. Still. Hmm. Bob qualifiers. Let's go. Round two. We have five rounds to win before we get to the finals, I think. That guy's aim fucking sucks. <laughs> or Kitty to just new. Oh! Oh! He's gonna just win the next four matches, huh? We just skipped like three matches. Like two matches, actually. It is insane. No one fights like him because no one can react like him. Boom, 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 boom. What he got? Oh, so cool. That's four wins. And then the finals with Shinon. What is the Shinon? Still realizing how crazy Kirito is? Bob, round five. Well, that one episode, you jumped off a building and did a 360 no scope. Do that again. But Shinon is basically camping one choke point. Boo! Maybe he reminds her of herself. The trauma, I mean. The fuck, is that a vehicle? Wait! Wait! You're allowed vehicles in a bob? Hold, wait, I thought everyone had to run around with their own guns. Bro has a fucking van? Like an armored warthog. Is that his battle pass? Bro died fucking driving. Yo, this fucking battle pass car sucks. You would think that it would have fucking, you know, bulletproof fucking windows or some shit. Bro didn't even get a chance to fucking fire his gun. Shin on OP. Alright, we made it to the finals, both of us then. Rare hungry box reference. Or maybe you're from Ultimate. Then I spit at you. <laughs> Bob, final round. Kirito is Sh Shinon's natural enemy, though, right? Like, if she's long distance, yes. Kirito, if she has the range, Kirito will still be able to deflect and close the gap. And he has the speed. I feel like, if anybody, Kirito is the one type of style that really counters Shinon's long range sniper. Because he will just continuously just like. Close the distance and just like counter the snipe. And like the bullets that she fired is like one single shot. Instead of dodging multiple shots from a rifle that he's been already doing, it's only one shot he has to, you know, fucking counter. So this is a very bad matchup for Shinon, right? <laughs> I still think that the only reason that she's a sniper and wears these shorts is for the cameraman to have this angle every time. Every fucking time. 
So this sniper actually has a crosshair. A couple episodes ago, we learned that there is some kind of like, you know, and then like the lower breath you take, the smaller the circle gets, and it's still RNG, but the bullet will hit somewhere there. So Hecate 2 is different. The sniper doesn't have the prediction line. I didn't actually know that. Okay, thank you for telling me. So the first shot doesn't have the prediction line for a sniper. That's interesting. So Kirito will have to dodge and react without that kind of line. So maybe it's actually not that bad of a matchup? Hmm. She's the only person with like a super accurate gun? Now focus, girl. You're here to win, not here to sympathize. Yes! Yes! He's done it every time so far to everyone else. No sword either! Wait! Where's the sword? You can't do it! Does he want to die? Okay, there's the circle. There's the circle. The boom boom thing. Nah! It's not gonna hit anymore! Cool guys don't look at explosions. Why is Kirito so fucking cool right now, huh? Holy shit. He's just like hasn't said anything and Shinon is just freaking out by herself. Sword's not even drawn yet. It's over. He's not even moving. He actually just like disconnected. Wait, what? Melee range? You sure? Okay. Melee range time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. True. There's no point in this fight, right? We've already both made it into the main tournament. So I guess that kind of makes sense why he's not giving a fuck. She's actually crying. Because, like, to her, this means so much more, right? To Kirito, you're just trying to get to Grand. But to her, this is like trying to overcome herself in this game to overcome that trauma in real life. So, Kirito doing this is pretty much just like seemingly disrespectful to everything that Shinon kind of believes in. He didn't mean it. She's gonna go all out, right? And now we're like going easy on her. Oh. Short time. So deep all of a sudden. <laughs> it's a video game. It's a, it's a video game. Relax. Right now, pull out your sword. And the 5-7. Wait, wait, let me pull my sword out first. Relax. Relax. Huh? What is this? Oh, it's gonna be like some fast like a uh, thing. Like on the count of 10, we'll reset positions and then we'll go into one final kind of duel. Prediction line assist won't help in this 10 meter distance. But Kirito, you know, is he gonna go yellow eye? Yellow eye Kirito. He's gonna do some bullshit, bro. Okay, it's looking pretty rigged at this distance. The assist line won't help him. The five seven. He still has that pistol right on the left hand. And once the bullet drops, that's the start of the duel. Yeah. I swear to God, the episode was about the end there for a second. Oh, no, stop, stop, stop. You gotta finish this battle. Come on. Hajime! How did he do it? How did he know? It's over. It's over. Do you yield? It's as if he already knew where the shot was gonna be. It's as if the swing of his sword happened before the bullet was even fired, you know? It's like she shot, but the sword was already swung. He knew the prediction of where the line was going to go, even though the line was not going to help in this 10 meter distance. What the fuck was that? Was that just pure fucking reactions? I don't know. It was a complete read, right? Oh, 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 oh. 
ID activate Heathcliff. <laughs> Render slow motion. Activate showering gun. I don't fucking know, but this is looking. No. Oh. Yo, don't let Asna see this. Yo, imagine the cuck trio and Asna is watching this right now from their fucking ALO TV screen, bro. <laughs> Scope, but the eyes on the other side of the scope, he saw it through the scope, saw my eye, and with that eye, he read the distance of the <laughs> What? Is, is, is that realistically possible? Is it? Now, there's no reason to ever try to figure out whether something is possible or not in an anime, but if they're gonna bother giving us some kind of pseudoscience, is it reasonable? Like, being able to read someone's fucking scope and, like, understand where the bullet's gonna go? I would... I... I... I, I don't know. Yeah, he's the main character. I'm sorry, you know. He's afraid of his own strength sometimes. It's the fact that he killed, and it's like the gravity of taking other people's lives, right? That kind of environment, that's what he's scared of. Okay. It's only skill. Skill issue. I'm sorry, girl. It's like, he's just built different. Like, Kirigaya Kazuto is the main character of this show. Uh, listen, you are not here for SAO and ALO. You, you have to see SAO and ALO to understand this bullshittery. If you've seen season one, Shino, then you would understand. This is just bullshit. It's not your fault. You, you can't learn this! How the fuck are you gonna teach someone how to fucking react like that? Mm. All the SAO stuff. Yeah, could you still do it? Kirito got that resolve to kill. He can basically cross that line. She known she ain't ready yet. She doesn't know about the fucked up VR MMOs that were patched afterwards where people were fucking dying. Oh, wait. That's true, though. While we were in SAO, she did technically kill. Shinon does have the resolve to kill. You're right. She did do it in IRL. And I would argue that that's even more significant than doing it in a game, right? But I, a little bit that's, that's different is that, like, while Kirito was killing in a video game, it was, like, a totally different environment where he was also training and just, like, you know, fighting and battling, putting his life on the line. What Shinon did, she did kill, but that was one single instance. And obviously, you cannot, like, it's a totally different... Even though they both killed, it's like a different environment. They do both have the resolve to kill, but Kirito was able to get all these skills because of the environment that he kind of grew up. And while Shinon did kill, it's not like she was constantly in a deathmatch game, right? Oh, 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 more, more, more Riz. Now you're pretty strong. And the strength we're talking about right now is not like strength to kill people, but it's like how he's trying to forget it all and can't face it, right? It's like a different type of strength. Some kind of like mental maturity, some kind of emotional maturity. I don't know. Is Kuradil, Kuradil is included in the three, right? It's, it was Kuradil and it was two, uh, <laughs> the laughing coffin, Kayaba. Did he kill Kayaba or did Kayaba kill himself? The final resolution at the heaven. I don't know. Does that count? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Wait, wait, what was that? She dropped the gun? And the hand almost went for Kirito's face. And, and then, he kind of like rejects her. Right? He, 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 he kind of rejects the hand here. She was, Shino was ready to fold. I got Asuna back home. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay, Mr. Cool Guy. Killing girls is my thing. Okay, dude. All right. Killing dudes. You can do that all the time, though. Then he'll fucking cry about it. Next 
Nani, this new newbie, just one F block and Bob? What the fuck? But everyone did see his battles about how he just runs in deflecting bullets, so yeah. Are you the real deal? That is today's episode. We got a uh, fast forward of Kirito's basically battles and we just skipped in front to the, like, it's, it's, it's the finals, right? It's the finals, the prelims to see who gets to make it into the actual main tournament for a Bob 3. Kirito had a bunch of trauma being, you know, dug back up because of some stuff that was not actually animated in the anime. This is cut content. Apparently, we actually did a raid on the, um, the uh, what's called the Laughing Coffin HQ. And a lot of people died. And Kirito killed two additional people here along with Kuradil and maybe Kaiba's included. So is that four? I don't really know. The main point is that Kirito's basically killed, but he didn't even know their name. And he feels that he's not strong because it comes back to haunt him, even though he possesses all this strength, which he calls like skill, right? Shinon also kind of... They both have a very fucked up past where they both had to kill, right? Obviously, Kirito killed in the video game, but those kills, you know, translates to real life. While Shinon actually kills someone with a gun. I think that Shinon still is one of my favorite girls in this show. She hasn't really folded. She was very close, right? She was very close here. She almost moved the handle to Kirito's face, but Kirito smoothly kind of rejected. So she hasn't folded yet, but uh, when she does eventually fold, if she does, I'm not gonna say like, oh my god, another girl that just folded because what I've seen from Shinon so far and how she's built up, I think this is a great character and I hope she stays independent and strong. Now, I guess we're going to go into the finals and I'm going to assume that Death Gun is also part of the Battle Royale that went in. And I guess there's still only one Death Gun that we've seen in the same room, but I'm just going to hang on to this crazy tinfoil theory on the 0.0000001% chance that multiple people are Death Gun. And still kind of interested in how that friend with the solar hair, the medical student kid, how does he relate to all of this? But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.